what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of space engineers we are back on the planet of pertam as the sun is rising up over the little hills that we have here on our little platform so we have a lot of work that we need to do today um including getting our platform here situated in the fact that we can protect all of the machine the machines that we have on here so right now it stands that if we were to get attacked by any of the NPCs, we would pretty much lose everything because we don't have a gun and we don't have, the only thing we have is just that one little turret that's sitting over there on top of the food requencer, the food re the food resequencer. There we go. <laughs> food resequencer. Um, that's the only turret that we have because we already took down the other one that we had here to kind of build this other uh, refining platform here. So. There's a few things that we need to do today. One is going to get rid of the welding arm that we have because we can't use it to weld up anything else. It can't really reach. Um, and even though we are going to add a second rock crusher and or purifier at this point in time, it's not really doing anything. And I think we probably just need to get rid of it so that we can have the real estate back. So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to be doing. Second, we need to retrofit the uh, hauling rover that we have there to use the small grid large cargo containers and to get rid of that um container that we have on the back because we can't pull stuff can't push and pull stuff automatically through it we have to manually unload and i don't want to have to do that anymore so we are we reached a point where we kind of need to start having stuff being a little bit automated from the last episode especially when we set up the izzy's inventory manager um, we finally got that running the way that it's supposed to. Uh, it wasn't learning the mats for the overhaul, the industry overhaul mod. So I had to reset it and then teach it again. So that's kind of why everything is kind of a little bit behind because I had to figure that thing out and finally got it working and everything situated. So apart from getting rid of the welding arm here, we're going to need to get us just kind of clean this platform up a little bit we don't need to have another extruder and stuff here and even for the food resequencer that we have over there we need to kind of get our daily needs stuff situated as well because right now we're still only uh living off of the syn synthetic food and water right now so we need to be able to eat better food so that we can you know stay out a little bit longer even though we can stay out with the synth food but we want to make sure that our food is always good and we haven't really done much with the done much with the uh daily needs mod since we've actually got it up and running we haven't really needed to so we're gonna need to clean this area up and then get rid of the welding arm and then finally i think if we get around to it we might get started on our mining rover right because we need to we Again, we need to stop going out and mining up everything by hand, which is what we have been doing for the uh, the very longest time here is mining up everything by hand and then not being able to get being as efficient as we possibly can. OK, so let's get down to business here and start chopping this welding arm up into small little pieces so that we can repurpose a lot of these scrap stuff that we are going to be getting from this and then using it in another um another what should i say another uh <laughs> part of the base pretty much so let's drop this down oh okay don't damage anything thank you very much and since i'm already up here we might as well just go ahead and just kind of grind down a lot of this stuff i'll pick that up in a minute if i can can i reach this oh there we go go ahead and grind down all of this stuff here so this thing has definitely served its purpose with us um it really helped us get to where we needed to go as far as getting a lot of our refinery stuff up and running which is i'm really grateful for but you know with the rover that we made a few episodes back we kind of don't need this stuff anymore and it's just best for us to grind it all down instead of just having it sit here and even though there is an argument to be made that we're going to uh 
that we are going to build up some walls and we might need something to weld up all of the walls that we're going to be throwing down because it, it is all going to be the concrete stuff and we know how Inventory heavy full. oops we know how heavy the concrete components can get so we're not going to be able to run around with a lot of stuff and i am running out of synth food here so i'm going to go and see if i can grab some more of this food wherever should those be i think those are in the components oh nope they're not hmm ingots i hope they're not in the ingots oh it is <laughs> it is in the ingots um emergency ration since food let's grab say maybe uh 20 of this and then let's grab some water as well while we're at it since we're here and we'll say 20. There we go. So just to kind of make sure that we always have enough food and stuff on us. And I've never seen my food meter up here. Never seen that food meter fill up. So we're already always just kind of basically scraping by with everything that we have. And we're going to grind this one down first and then just kind of walk backwards, work our way backwards to get all of this grinded off. So yeah, so I hope that you guys have been enjoying the episode so far. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm definitely going to be recording, pre-recording a lot of these episodes. So I probably won't be seeing you guys' comments um, coming up for a while because I do have some important uh, personal issues that I do have to, personal issues, personal matters that I do have to take care of in the coming months. So um, I will be away for a little bit but i'm gonna try to make sure that i have a decent amount of episodes pre-recorded and then being able to roll it out to you guys on a weekly basis so it will be one episode of space engineers per week and then any other titles that we kind of get into we do want to wrap up a lot of the other stuff that we have going on right now as well um but we'll just discuss the space engineer stuff here since we're playing space engineers of course so now that we are oh is that thing still moving look like it was can we get everything in this one go oh, yes we can beautiful okay so that's the welding arm taken care of the next thing that i want to do is to head over to or get this rover i'm gonna get the rover i'm gonna bring it over to that uh small cargo container that we have over there and definitely see if we just kind of pull it up a little bit closer so we don't have to run as far and the power and everything is off on here it's on recharge mode so let's go ahead and turn this on and let's unlock the parking brake oh why are we moving so slow hold on we're moving kind of slow here oh wait a minute do we have stuff inside of here inventory Oh, yeah, we do have coal. I did go out and grab up some coal from a few episodes ago <laughs> off camera here. So let's head over to the other. Um, I want to make sure. What was that? 30K? I'm going to put the coal. Well, actually, I just want to deposit all of. Oh, ugh. I just realized what we're doing here. Um. Yeah, okay. We're going to try and see if we can. It doesn't even make any sense to even try to uh, back up here. We should be able to pull resources from over on this side, too. So that's perfectly fine. Let's head under here. Oh, man. Because this is where the coal and everything was supposed to be deposited in the first place because it's. There we go. Right there. Should be fine. Now let's go ahead and put the parking brake on. And we'll leave everything running for now. And we're, oh, this is going to take a very, very long time. We'll throw that in there. And let me go ahead and just um, unload all of this stuff. And I will bring you guys back once uh, we are actually done. All right, guys. There we go. Finally got this is the last of it. Um, not sure where all the coal is going. Oh, that's not how you spell coal. Let's see what storage container this is going into. 
um it's going into the chemical refinery and getting wait hmm? and it's also going into the refinery wait 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 you're turning all my coal into carbon why okay so let's head into control panel and we don't need that much so chemical refinery um i don't want you to refine down my coal into carbon stop it turn it off and then head over to my refinery so i'm oh no so that means i'm going to have to have um let's set this cargo container here so control panel and it's special let's go to the custom data and we're gonna say to put i do have coal to be in here of a hundred thousand why didn't it keep any of the coal from here that's what hey 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 what's going on why didn't you keep the coal in here that's very weird maybe i need to put the special tag on here again let's copy this get rid of it and then put it on here one more time so there we go well actually let's get rid of that and close out of here so let's see if the once the script kind of recompiles and get everything situated we'll see um it's just the gasoline that's the only thing that we're missing so let's go back here let's test this one more time and see even though all of our coal is probably gone now yeah okay yep so all of that is gone i'm gonna go ahead and put the special tag back in one more time and then wait for the script to update and then we'll put this in here again but that's fine we we kind of don't need that right now so next thing we're going to grind down the solar panel off of here grind this all the way down and then we need to get rid of the container that is here just make sure that my inventory is empty it is let's go ahead and grind this down and then i want to go and put down a few there we go oops oh all right so we just dropped those blocks right there um that's fine <laughs> i'm not worried about it i think we might have to get rid of this um connector here but let's go ahead and grab the oops, not that we're gonna grab some stuff for a large cargo container and i'm going to I'm actually going to use this skin but we're going to go for the large one and we want the small grid large cargo container and let's see as much resources as we can possibly grab for this we're gonna need two of these bad boys and what i'm thinking is i probably want to have maybe on top we want to have you oh which way is this facing this way so more than likely yep there we go one of them is supposed to be up on top like this so just in case we want to put a turret we can place a turret on here and actually we should probably just do both of them like this and this way it wouldn't matter what we have let's rotate it just to make sure yep it wouldn't matter what we had we could put two turrets on top of here if we need to and then we'll also have another connection around at the back for the connector all right let's go ahead and build this back one first so that we can kind of see everything that we're missing um head over here and let's throw in this scrap stuff that we have in here and let's grab there we go all components successfully withdrawn for this one but we're probably missing one of the interior plates yes okay so this is fine we are going to have to raise these blocks up a little bit here yeah all of these blocks are going to have to go and we're going to have to raise it up and the connector as well wait a minute that's up at the top that's a large spot right there. Wait, does this connect up? Does it? I don't even, I don't think it does. 
Wait a minute. Oh, no. We're going to have to grind this down again. Okay, let's go ahead and grind this down. Unfortunately, this is the wrong way around. There we go. And I don't trust myself, so I'm going to grind that one down again. And we're going to head over here. And now we're going to grab up the right thing that we're supposed to once we deposit all of this stuff. All right, there we go. Now we have this set in the right orientation. And we are going to have to... Ooh, is this damaged? No. We are going to have to move this connector up by one to be able to connect up. So let's go and dump everything in here. Should be able to grab the rest of this stuff. There we go. All components successfully withdrawn. And what this is doing, it's giving us a nice little means of having a lot more cargo storage because i think each of these can hold up to fifteen thousand liters which isn't bad so it's around thirty thousand. the same thing as that other uh container pretty much so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grind down this connector and hopefully these blocks stay even though i'm i might have to raise them up a little bit here yep go ahead and grind that down and then let's grab a connector from somewhere if we have one okay we do not have one on our thing so go to the g menu and grab a connector like this and throw down this connector right here and we're going to change the color we're going to go back to a, a black or a darker one hit okay and throw that right there let's grab this all right so now this is two of the things that we wanted to get done today. Um, we are going to have to figure out something again, another cover for this side of the base as well, because we did get our steam generation up, but we still didn't get the um, we didn't start running anything yet. So there's no power or anything to this. So that's also something that we have to do. But we're going to kind of focus on that a little bit later. This is now done. We can head over to the next thing where we want to go ahead and kind of clean up our platform that we have over here just to make sure that we still have the connection for everything, but then just kind of plan out what we're going to be using this little area for. And I am thinking that this platform here, it'd be really, really nice to kind of just have this just to so we can build our vehicles and then just kind of drive them up and drive them out if we need to do any kind of repairs in here so this would be like a little a bigger garage this is just going to be something that we have for our survival kit and over here we can set it up where this section is just going to be all production back here now, this whole building is just going to be production so let's go ahead and start ripping a lot of this stuff out i think we are going to take this away we don't need this anymore um, these refineries here, the basic refineries or the smelters, or I should call them the right name, the smelters, we're going to go and take these down as well. And we're probably going to put these back. Actually, do I need to remove these? I kind of don't because I was thinking that we can go ahead and remove a lot of these small cargo containers that we have, but that think that's like a waste of resources so the only smelter that we're probably going to need to remove is this one here so we can remove this smelter and keep all of these other blocks around here and use them so let's go ahead and start from this section we're going to have to get rid of the turret that's up on top because we're going to keep the food resequencer and get rid of this turret here and oh, don't want to do that. Let's grab the ammo and let's dump this ammo. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Dump that ammo in there. That'll probably get sent somewhere. All of these will get scrapped down, which is perfectly fine. Um, Yeah, so I'm thinking we keep these. I'm thinking we keep these and I'm going to get rid of this ladder right here and here. And then this cargo container might need to stay. I will keep this cargo container. These two 
I need to replace. Because... Or do I need to replace these? Maybe I just need to come over here. This is the, the gravel compressor and the ceramic furnace. The loom is here. I need to get rid of this thing. So maybe we, yeah, maybe we could just shuffle some things around. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the rock crusher. Oh, I should have thought about this a little bit before I did that. Let's head to the cargo container that we have and dump all of this stuff off. And let's head back over here really quickly. And we're going to grind this down. Get rid of the rock crusher and we're gonna get rid of the auto loom and we're gonna pull the auto loom back to around this area and get this connected up here so i'm gonna need to get rid of this elbow drop that down and just to kind of clean this area up so that we know what we are actually working with and our inventory is going to be filled up so we might as well just go and just dump a lot of this stuff off right away um Okay, clean that out and grind this down all the way. And I'm just going to throw some more stuff inside of here instead of running all the way back up there. There we go. There we go. So now we can get rid of this. We can go back to the production blocks and grab the loom. Uh, where, uh, the loom. Uh, the, the loom. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Auto loom. And let's go and rotate this around this side. And we're going to change the color. And we're going to put it like this. And I'm going to connect it up to that cargo container that's over there. So we will have connection coming from here. And, oh, probably should have connected, ran something over here so that we can pull from it. But that, sh that should be fine. This should be ready to go. And let's grab some stuff here. And I know I have some steel plates inside of my inventory. That's fine. Should still have it. We're using that to just kind of rebuild everything. There we go. Still need more. Jeez. Look. Why didn't you give me all the steel plates? There. Man. How many times do I have to hit the button to get everything? There we go. So... With this moved, it means that we can kind of clear up a lot of the space that we have up there on that other side. Um, we do need to get into the food stuff and get this all connected up. And I always want to make sure that the way that I'm connecting all of these is I have a way that I can walk underneath here, which shouldn't be bad because we have the um the conveyor tubes here that we can use which has the slope ones in it so oh, let's go and grab it and rotate this around change the color we're gonna go to black and we're gonna go with this so this is gonna be the new color that we're using for all of our stuff and hopefully when i place that there these all kind of connect up to the way that we want them to let's grab this and this and let's go and get this all built up and we should go oh, we can grab everything from here. there we go and i'll just go ahead and just paint that block black okay so yeah i kind of like the way how this is um i was thinking to move this and put it over here down on this stage 
and then kind of put a proper stair and stuff in here and kind of get this area up here opened up so let's actually do that let's go ahead and grab this we'll grab the ceramic furnace and i want to connect it up directly and i'm gonna put this as a different color since it's a ceramic i'm gonna put it as uh white yeah let's put it as a little off white and let's rotate this let's rotate it around it's gonna be in the sci-fi we don't want it to be glowing oh it doesn't matter well actually we'll put it like this so that the terminal block is on this side and i'm going to have to extend this platform out maybe just a little bit or if i don't want to do that i'm gonna have to bring it this side and then um yeah so i'll have to get rid of this block but then it means that i wouldn't be able to interact with the control panel that's here so i'm going to just place this like that and then let's grab everything that we need from this since we have everything really close by there we go this should be pretty nice and then it's already connected directly into the gravel so that should be perfectly perfectly fine and then we're gonna get rid of that other one that we have up there there we go okay so this is our new ceramics furnace get it up to 100 percent yeah uh just have to kind of jump over here really quick grind this down this way up here just has a little bit more space and we could do some more stuff up on this side um i was thinking of moving the gravel compressor but i think i might just leave this here yeah i might leave the gravel compressor here and uh, to be honest i i could just leave all of this stuff off and then just put all of our new food stuff over on this side and kind of have this as like a little uh farming kitchen area but i definitely do not need to have all of this here and that's why i'm thinking that i want to get rid of this fabricator that's here and get rid of these things here as well and then just put in my farming things that i'll need yeah i'm just gonna get rid of these we don't need this many smelters anymore we have a refinery we have two that's on the end which is perfectly fine uh is there anything inside of your inventory no there's not so let's go ahead and grind this down as well and we want to just make sure that we're throwing this back into these cargo containers that are right here throw that away there we go and finish grinding down this wire drawer yeah, and I think if we put everything here, it'll be a little bit better. You know, and we can say, we can seal, if we want to, we can just seal off the difference from this side from coming over into this side here. All right, so we do have three, four cargo containers, because I think this is another cargo container here. We have four cargo containers, five, and then this fabricator needs to go. So we'll get rid of this grind this down and what I want to do I'm going to go to a new I don't need to go to a new tab we'll go ahead and we'll clear off this stuff here but then we'll grab all of the daily need stuff that we need we're going to need the uh, the soil tray crop grow we're going to need the water recycler and the which one of these are better the open the open hydroponics is basic compared to the enclosed which is advanced we'll go ahead and grab this and then we can just go ahead and grab the lcd panel that's perfect lcd panel we kind of won't need right now so let's see what's up with the soil tray the soil tray we can rotate this around Oop. rotate this around it has a connection on the bottom and a connection on the top so technically i could put this right here and because i'm going to connect up a lot of the stuff to the top portion here which should be good as well because I, I can't put it on this side because i want to make sure that everything is good so we're going to do one here and this leaves us a gap of two which we could go ahead and put down the hydroponics has connections on all four sides oh we don't want that we want it like this and we're gonna place 
you and place you. And then up here, I think we're going to go ahead and throw the water recycler like this because it has a connection on either side. And I think there's a connection on the bottom. Yes. So this will connect up to the top of the... Oh, are we... What are we out of? Oh, I need a girder. Um, head in here. And let's grab a... A girder. Just grab like a... And dump all of this stuff off. So, there we go. Alright. So, let's rotate this up. Oh, there we go. Like that. Place that down. And that way, everything is kind of facing this general direction. So, if we're over here in our little garage working, we can just come over, grab our food, and then, you know, do what we want to do. Um, We're going to go and get all of this stuff here welded. I have a feeling that this is going to burn through all of my ice. So let's dump some resources in here and we'll grab everything that we need for all of them. We'll get you built first. Up, low. Oh, low on energy. Is there a storm? Sounds like there's a storm, but there's no wind. Interesting. All right, so there goes the water recycler and this is missing a few construction components. Um, okay, so we can't build that. And you are missing some more construction components and some glass and some computers. Let's see what we got here. Nope, can't finish that off. Motors are in. All right, so just some glass and some basic computers we have to get for this stuff to kind of finish this all off here. And we'll let everything kind of build up a little bit. This is going to take a little while to kind of get everything in. I don't want to see what it's working on. Uh, production. Let's make sure. Uh, is it the fabricator? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I forgot to take this off. Um, let's go to the control panel and clear this off so this can start making stuff again. There we go. So hopefully now this should start making stuff once everything just kind of recompiles. So let's see the plate stamp. You're making that the assembler. We don't need anything in the assembler and microelectronics factory. You are stuck on making. What are we out of for this? Silicone and plastics. I think we're just short the plastic and probably the gold wire. We should have a lot of gold wire. Hmm. Um, could you make me up some computers, please? Or did the fabricator start making the computers? Uh-oh. Now it looks like the... the Did it stop working? What's going on? Uh, warning, fuel, or did it not recompile? Let's try to recompile this and see if it starts building the stuff again. Hopefully it does. Okay, you did not start. Assembler is not doing anything. Extruder is not doing anything. So nothing is being done here. I don't understand what's going on. Microelectronics factory. Why are you not making any of my stuff? All right, so for now, let's kind of queue these. Am I out of resources? No, I'm not. Fabricator. Let's queue up some of this stuff here that we're going to need for sure. Um... I have to ch go back and check this the mod again to see what's actually going on because I don't know. We should have been able to... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it started uh, throwing everything over there. Fabricator? Yeah, see? Now it started throwing everything in, which is fine. I don't know. The extruder, we might have everything here that we need because the survival, the plate stamp is working. It is making all the stuff that it needs to. The wire drawer, uh, wire drawer is on learn many as well. Ah, okay. I got to remember to always clear this stuff off. There we go. That's fine. And we'll go back to production. Let's throw this in so that it starts working. And we'll probably have to recompile the script one more time just to kind of make sure that everything is good. Um, Station mode. Yes, that's fine. Let's recompile one more time just to make sure everything is golden. 
There we go. And that should start everything up, I'm hoping. Extruder. Don't need anything in Extruder. The... Hmm? Where's the wire drawer? Wire drawer. Wire? Where's my wire drawer? Um... Uh... uh Where's the wire drawer? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. All components successfully Energy withdrawn. Critical. There we go. The crop is finished. That's 100%. This is finished. 100%. And now the enclosed, the other enclosed hydroponics is now done. There we go. Now we should have all of these running. You have gravel, you have water, so you should start making up a bunch of stuff for me. Yes. You have no water, though. So let's go into the inventory. And we'll type in water. And I'll just split this water here and say you can put 120 water over here. Uh, oh, okay. Water. Why can't I transfer the water? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so the water recycler is burning through all of my <laughs> my stuff over here, which is interesting. And yeah, okay. I'll figure out how to I'll kind of dive into this stuff and kind of get some um of this stuff kind of made up. Is there there's regular fertilizer? If I wanted to make some food. Oh, and let's go, let's go recharge. Alright, so these are new to me and i haven't really messed with um any of this stuff so let's kind of see what's going on in here um this isn't really doing anything i would think that the hydroponics farm would start doing some stuff i mean hmm it's not making anything why what do i put in here for it to make stuff do you need to have uh Do you need to have organics inside of you? No. Okay. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm I'm gonna kind of have to mess around with this and kind of see. Uh, production, fertilizer, fer oh, organic fertilizer, and artificial fertilizer. Oh, so we'll need potassium, gravel, water, and phosphorus and carbon. To be able to get the artificial um okay i haven't ran into any phosphorus or potassium so i'm not sure where i get those from the organic stuff here should be able to craft a lot of this stuff up yeah there we go should be able to craft up a bunch of fertilizer let's make um let's see yeah so oh 400 geez i don't think i have enough organics organics Oh, we have tons. Never mind. <laughs> We're good. We're good. So we'll make up some fertilizer and then I'll see if we can make up some. Uh... Do we take the seeds and put the seeds into the other machines? Inventory. Let's type in a uh, seed. So we have some seeds here. Cucumber seed. Um, Let's go to the uh, enclosed. Okay. And do we take the cucumber seeds and put them in here? Why do you only have 20 water? You have a ton of gravel. What's going on here? Let's grab a tomato seed and see. Can we transfer tomato seeds over here? Let's say one. No. So what do we make over here? I'm not sure. Um, is this supposed to be doing it automatically or no? I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. Uh, we did get a lot of this stuff here cleaned up. Um, put in our food stuff so we can actually get better food than the synthetic food and water. Then we have, we got rid of all of this stuff here. Uh, rearranged. That's kind of did a little bit of house cleaning in this episode. So hopefully you guys tune in for the next episode where we're going to build up our rover and then to go out and hopefully we start getting some npcs i'm not sure what's going on and we got to look into the script as well and figure out why it was doing that it was working and everything was auto crafting by itself and replenishing but then all of a sudden i started moving things around maybe that's what broke it the fact that i moved a 
a lot of the um, machines that we had, the assembling machines that we had around. So then it kind of got lost. So I'm probably going to have to reset it again and test it and see. So hopefully I'll let you guys know that in the next episode. But if you guys have any idea as to why that happened and if the reset doesn't fix it, then maybe I'll kind of see your guys' comments and kind of go from there. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new content gets posted to the channel. And until next time, everyone, big up on yourself.